All right, take me to your leader. We'll go to the Heavens Above homepage. Make that a little bigger. Okay, first thing it wants you to do is uh, tell it where you live. So under configuration, I usually just select from the database. Click on that. Now choose any country in the world by letter. Um, last good uh, NOS Twins video I saw came out of uh, the United Kingdom. So I'll click on you, I'll click on the United Kingdom. And I'm not sure where it was from, so I'm just going to type in London. Alright, now it's asking me London, yes. Alright, so we're configured for London, England. Now once you're configured for wherever you live, uh, you come on down to the satellites is the next section. Down here, see select, click on that. Now you get four boxes. The third box is satellite name. There you want to type in NOS. And the percent sign, which is above the number five, that's NOS and the percent sign. I don't know why the percent sign has to be there, but it won't work without it. So then you click on submit. All right, here are the NOS satellites and there are a lot of them and the ones that are still going are, are mostly just pairs uh, we want to go specifically to the to the second generation first launch these guys are still active E, C and D 2-1 E, C and D there they are I believe E is the leader 2-1 E Click above the globe to passes visible. Alright, let's look at the very next one in the queue. 23rd November, 1639 and 14 seconds. Just remember the minutes and seconds there. Really just remember the seconds. These guys are so close together. But it's 39 minutes and 14 seconds for E. Let's check D next. 2-1 D. We're remembering 39 minutes 14 seconds. So D visible passes 39 minutes 16 seconds. So it's arriving only two seconds after E. And then that leaves us with 2-1 C to complete the triad. 2-1C visible passes 39 minutes 23 seconds so from 14 to 16 to 23 so all three of them in, in 9 seconds will appear from the west 39 degrees isn't too bad and actually a 5.2 magnitude is, is pretty good too so actually <laughs> It's short notice, but if you got clear skies over London tonight and you have a night vision camera, you could capture uh, a triangle UFO. So here are all the passes. And once again, this is 2-1C. Let's just go back to the leader because we know he's the first guy out of the gate. E. Visible passes. And, and look at all the sightings coming up for London. Now look at all the magnitudes on these, they're really high. A lot of these, you know, you need some pretty good binoculars to see them, that's for sure. Or night vision camera, of course. Anyway, that's your best bet for filming a triangle a UFO. And uh, it'd be the NOS triplets and they're still out there and uh, maybe now we can get uh, some better footage of them that'd be pretty cool to see actually I'd, I'd really enjoy to see that okay cool